me. We had Mr. Origami. Now we have Mrs. Origami joining me next. It is Tracy Rosa. Okay, so this next item started out as a three-tier, and everybody loved it so much. Yeah. The folks at Origami said, well, let's make it better, and they decided to do four tiers. So I've got a couple color options remaining. Not a lot, though. We have the pewter, no, I'm sorry, we have the uh, what, platinum, we have the red, we have the bronze, and we have the black. The white is sold out, isn't it? Oh, and wow. the red, no, the red's here. The white's sold okay. out. I, and I love how you tell the story. I mean, I have the three-tier, actually, both of my daughters have the three-tier, and then when we got the four-tier in, I'm like, I'm stealing it for myself. It's in my bathroom. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. You know, I'm a sucker for a good basket. Imagine getting four baskets and one footprint, okay? All powder-coated steel, but like all origami, zero assembly required. So it's gonna come to you, all right, flat-packed like this. So all you have to do is basically unfold it. That's, great. That's your assembly, all yeah. right? So I think that people are very familiar with this type of setup, this t style, but you see it in particle board and you see it in plastic, like those plastic those drawers, drawers and oh. whatever. No, this is gonna be that powder coated steel so it won't rust, it won't chip or corrode. Footprint on this, 17 inches across. 11 inches deep and it stands 43 inches tall. Nice. Each shelf is gonna hold about 20 pounds each. That's great. Mm -hmm. And again, here's a couple things that we love. Like here, I love it. Let's see if company come. And again, one day it might be holding potatoes and tomatoes mm -hmm. and all that stuff in your kitchen. The next day it's like, oh, I gotta get a little center, like a towel center for company. Look how awesome this looks. You just roll it into their room. They've got access to all their own washcloths and towels. You roll it into the bathroom, however you wanna do it. It's perfect. Also, I do like this one specifically comes with a little hook. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, a lot of people use these to roll them out to their barbecue. And what they'll do is they'll put their barbecue tools on it yep. and they have all their barbecue stuff, all the picnic plates mm -hmm. and cups and all that junk down below and they use it for that. And then you turn around and say, oh my goodness, again, this one's all set up for the crafters right. in your life. <laughs> yeah, no, it's perfect. Again, 17 inches and then 11 inches deep. So that's gonna be your footprint. Remember, this is how it's gonna come to you flat pack like this. I wanted to put it up like this because I want you to see this very, very fine mesh that we have at the base here. I love this because if you're a crafter and you have some of the smallest, you know, particles and yes. stuff, it won't fall through. If you're using it or for like, like kids stores, yeah, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Also, like you said, I, I, my New Year's resolution was juicing. I think I, I, th yes, I bought did. that juicer you from you. brought the juicer we had the on the end. Yeah. one, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to like farmer's markets and buying a ton of fruit and stuff. This is great for that because it's aerated, so those fruits will stay fresher longer. Um, it's on wheels, so very easy to maneuver throughout your kitchen, your bathroom. I joke that there's only one negative with this one, Suzanne. Um, my daughters can now move my entire beauty storage stuff from my bathroom to their bathroom. They steal the whole thing. <laughs> they steal my makeup, they steal my shark blow dryer, <laughs> they steal all that stuff and they just wheel it in and then I get mad Mom's and I gotta go, go find it. wheel it back. Another you know? <laughs> great feature is because of the way it's made, you could throw a hot curling iron on here. Oh yeah. So let's say you just don't have a lot of storage in your bathroom, right? Like this is a great example. And you use this for all your hair brushes, mm -hmm. curling irons, blow dryers, all that kind of stuff. You'll love it because you have to wait for it to cool down to worry about it melting it. Right. You literally just toss your blow dryer or your curling iron, whatever, on top of here and leave the bathroom. And because it's this metal, this powder coated steel, you don't have to baby it or even worry about mm -hmm. it. Also, the moisture in a bathroom. A lot of people, if you've got particle board, that is just going to fall apart. Oh, yeah. If you have any regular old shelving, it's just not going to work. This is not going to affect it whatsoever. No. It's not going to rust. It's not going to chip. It's not going to, it's not going to scratch even with really heavy duty use because of the quality and the way it's made. Yeah. All right, I have to give you an update. If you're buying the platinum, that is the most popular right now. And you know oh, what nice. I like the platinum? Because it works with stainless steel um, kitchen appliances. Absolutely. I, mine is um, mine's white in the bathroom, but Bella has a platinum one. I like that one in her room because we have like those gray floors. Oh, yeah. So oh, it definitely cool. accents those nice. Um, I, I'll tell you, when because I, I say... I. I use it in my bathroom, so if I spill any lotion on here, I can just take this outside and just spray it down, you know, and I don't have to worry about it. But do this. Do a quick little mental inventory of the different rooms in your house. You know, think of your closet. This can be for your clutches. It can be for your scarves. It can be for your shoes. belts. It can be for, yeah, for shoes because of that fine jewelry. mesh. Jewelry, actually be a great it, jewelry card. My daughter Haley uses it for her jewelry. That's in her be great. Yeah. You know, even like the little backs of the earrings don't fall through here on the mesh, mesh which That's is nice. Uh, laundry rooms, this is great. I laugh, um, you know, I'm only 5'3", and we have those cabinets behind the washer and dryer, and the real estate agent was like, oh, you have storage. I'm 5'3", Suzanne. I can't reach 
that. <laughs> I used to have knee marks on the washer and dryer from like crawling up there to, to get storage. But this is <laughs> such a great footprint. And again, remember, it comes to you flat pack like this. All you do is unfold it. That is your assembly. If you want to put the wheels on, it's like screwing in a light bulb. And then we're giving you these S hooks. You can hook them here. You can hook them here. You can hook them on the side. Wherever you want to put them, you can customize this any way you want. You can use this as an herb garden, maybe out on your lanai it's because of that powder coated steel. Plants. And look at, oh yeah, plants, yeah, really you know, good. whatever. It's just, you said it earlier. You get it in your head like, oh, I'm gonna use it for this. And then you get it home and you're like, oh wait, no, I'm gonna use it for this or I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So I always say that and it's the one thing you won't get rid of. Every time we've moved, we've moved a couple of times, all of my origami has found a new job mm -hmm. in my new circumstance and we downsized. So I've got origami in closets, I got origami in our storage, but an orig my original origami started out for part of my crafting because I have so much crafting stuff and I really didn't have a room for it. And I had all the sewing machines and all this stuff on it, right? My Cricut and everything. And then when we moved and downsized, um, I moved my original origami into my storage space to mm -hmm. make that vertically more smart Makes and sense. make it a better space. So I was able to do a smaller storage unit because I was using vertical space as opposed to just horizontal stuff. So again, you buy it once. This, I guess the whole point is you buy it once and it stays with you. This is not something you go, oh, it's so bad. I'm going to throw it out. It goes with you and it just changes its job all the time. And you'll be really pleasantly surprised about that. Um, really will. The other thing I like about this one specifically is let's say you love baking, but you don't bake very often. Maybe you do it five times a year. Can you imagine having your mixer on top mm -hmm. and then you have all your baking stuff down below, mm -hmm. or maybe it's cookie decorating or whatever it might be. And when you're ready to do it five times a year, you roll the whole thing out, you do your baking and you put it all away. Yeah, because you are getting a lot of space in between each one of these shelves. So you can put some of your smaller appliances on here, maybe your rice cooker, maybe your toaster, maybe you know, um, I have a, a smaller air fryer that can fit on here. Clean off your countertops and then just kind of wheel this into whatever nook and cranny that you want to store it in. But um, my, my daughter Bella had a lot of her friends in town from um, Western New York and they came this past weekend. It was so great to give them a space that they could unpack just little things, That's you know, idea. so they didn't have to have their suitcase out or whatever. They just, you know, can unpack. Now you're getting four different shells, four different baskets in one single footprint. Remember each one of these powder coated shells will hold about 20 pounds. 19.8 pounds is the official official uh, weight. 17 inches across